Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to ex export by copy and paste large file from Excel spreadsheet to your access database. Now, in order to do that, you have to make sure that there is no file on the access database. So it's a massive data dump. So in order to, uh, let's first, let's start by um, showing the tables. So if you want to show the tables and the queries on the form, just go to your file option, current data database, and display navigation pane. So click OK, and this window pops up. It says you must close and reopen the current database for the specified option to take effect. So you click OK, you X out, and then you open it back again. So after that, it shows you all the tables, the queries, and the form. So we want to uh, deal with the table at the moment. So when we click open the table, so now we have we have an empty empty table. So what we're gonna do now is to export this table to an Excel spreadsheet. And the reason why we do that is we want to preserve the structure of the assets database. So when you export it, it holds the structure, then you can add items on the assets database and then move it and then copy it and paste it on your assets database. So we're going to start by going to external data and Excel. So now we're, we're exporting our assets database file to an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to name it test so we can easily find it and then click OK, close. And then we're going to go to the file that we just uh, exported. So as you can see on Excel spreadsheet is showing an empty uh, columns, but it preserves the structure. So I already have that here already. So I have uh, files that I already put on there just to save us time. Files that I want to export to the to the access uh, table. So in order to do that, I have to copy each cells. Make sure you don't copy everything. You just copy the only the data that you need. So we're done with that, and we we'll copy. And then when we we'll go back to our access table, notice that this column is a bit too wild. So if we copy it here, it's going to give us an error. So one, what we want to do is to shrink this column so they are the same size. So what we need to do is to scroll to the very end of the table and then we highlight this section. Once you highlight it, you go to the corner of the intersection and then you shrink it. So now what it does is it put them to size, to equal size. So before you do that, I have to let you know that the equipment and the serial number are mandatory field. So if a field is mandatory, make sure that you have something on on the field. Maybe if you don't have the serial number, you can put NA. That will make sure that the, uh, the asset database accepts the file that you're adding. So now that I've copied the, the access, uh, the Excel file, and I want to paste it. So I just uh, right click and paste. 
So you say you're about to paste 111 records. Are you sure you want to paste it? Yes. So that's how you paste. And this, this file automatically shows up on, on your access database. So that's how you import massive amount of files from your Excel spreadsheet to your access database. That's all I got for this video. Thank you.